called meeting to order of the Great County Commission at 9.05 a.m. Um, go skip the pledge. Roll call. John. Here. Dale. Here. Ron. Here. Sean. Here. Troy's here. Okay. Approval of the agenda. And the agenda is 2016 budget and EOC. Yep. Move to approve the agenda just presented. And move by Sean to approve the agenda. Is there a second to the motion? Second. Second by Dale. Is there any discussion? All in favor say aye. All right. Close same sign. Motion carried. Okay, 2016 budget. What are you going to know the value of the You're saying that I will know by Monday. You will know by Monday? That's what I've been told. Monday at what time? I'm not entirely sure. Say that every Friday, don't they? <laughs> say what? They say that every Friday, don't they? Well, I guess if you know what Monday we can then... If we wanted to, we don't have to. For example, if the bill comes in at $17,500, then we could adjust the budget amounts downward so that we don't exceed the $25 million for the two mills and all those limitations. If it comes in over our estimate, about $18,400, then we could adjust them upwards. But, but if you, and then if you don't get it at all, on Monday, which I kind of think there's a pretty good chance. <laughs> um, See, the, the, reason, the reason the state doesn't give us the mill, give you the mill, is because they don't want you using the mill to set the budget. Just, now, just, that's just, just like we don't want it for everybody <laughs> else. They, they don't, yeah. And, and they, they, they discipline you every time you bring that up mm -hmm. because the mill is not supposed to be the drive, it's not supposed to drive, it's supposed to be a dollar figure. They neglect to take into account that there are mandatory mill levies maximums that we're up against but again if you talk to linda she lectures you every time about what does it matter if you have a mill this is a dollar driven budget so i agree with it that it shouldn't matter what the mill is and the departments that present us with budgets have to present them as a dollar figure we're, we're making strides towards that but we haven't got there yet so we can assume we can assume a higher mill for some of those. We can assume a higher dollar figure valuation, and and let the mill adjust it. For instance, if you have, if, if, if you have a budget that's that's up against a two mill a two mill, and you you could put it at nineteen thousand, and when the mill comes in, it'll adjust it down. The figure is going to be anyway. Right. And it all depends what you want to do. I just want to make a statement because we're on the record here and we've we got to do it by a dollar figure. Mm -hmm. But we do have some consideration. So if we knew the mail, it would be easier. Yeah. If we knew the mail number. Yeah, but if we don't, 19000 might be a good number. So, so then we'll readjust the senior citizen's budget to $38,000 and the advertisement will show senior citizens getting 38000 or a maximum of two of those, and later we'll reduce that thirty-eight thousand down to what it actually is. Yeah, except what we have it in here now. They they we're assuming eighteen four twenty-five four, and like for the roads, you know, we kind of need the twenty-five mills. <laughs> uh, so if we assume this nineteen thousand dollar mill value and recalculate that number and advertise at that new number four hundred and 80,000 instead of 460,000. Then, and say the advertisement will say maximum 25 mil limit on it, and then later we'll reduce it down to what it has to be to comply with the mill limit. Not exactly the way it's intended to go, I know, but. <laughs> there, 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 is no, there is no actual mandatory maximum mill limit. 
they all say up to. Mm -hmm. So I think we just have to leave the word that. And then where if, if the mill if the if the mill falls below what we have what we used for projection projections it just did okay I don't know I don't know any other way to do it I mean because we these budgets are all dollars right now mm -hmm. they're all dollars so now, now no doubt there was some there was some consideration given to a projected mill levy. Like for the rules, for example. Right. We made it well, and, and like water management, where we kind of backed up into that number. You made water so. Yeah. Not the full yeah. There was some. There was some consideration given there, but right. But I mean, I think the more common budgeting methodology, if you look at other counties, I think is. They set their mill levy based on the state's recommendations, so they they are they already know what their mill is. Um, we're not doing that, which I agree with. But that's the only reason we don't have our mill number right now, because we didn't set it. We didn't increase the valuation. We're going to force the state to do that, right? And and it, it could uh, with with the. <clears throat> because we are because we're faced with a zero net sum increase, you know we we could have almost used the last year's mill levy number to determine to determine the budgets for each one of these departments. Although in the general fund, it could it's not per department compared to other whole general funds, so it pulls it off a little bit. But right. I think I think we're fine. I think there's a couple budgets we should look at before we. Public. Go forward, and, and then whatever the whatever the mill comes in at is is, is going to determine. We can just plug that in, and then and then to make the dollar. If 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 that eighteen four twenty five is a little high, then we won't be right bumped up against the mill on some of these. But I, which budgets do we need to look at? Five or six, I suppose. The, the highway fund, the library. Um, so those, those are okay, right? The, the oh, okay. okay. I think. So, yeah. In, I mean, they have. They actually have a, a bottom, a bottom line number. Uh, maybe they do, but uh, yeah, sure. I think. Maybe Can I go and grab my budget? Mm -hmm. Okay, please. I mean, in, in here. Which one are you on? Oh, I like waterboard. We, we kind of we gave them their number, I guess. But we will, but that that's that is our prerogative to. Yeah. To, the only thing we have to operate, we have to make sure we operate in dollars rather than milligrams. Yeah. We did. yeah. So, so I mean, they. Yeah. What where, is that water for? What is it? E10. Yeah. So if, if the mill happens to come in at 19,000, they'll be under their formulas. And if it comes in at 18,000, we'll have to cut the budget. Right. I mean, I don't know any other way to do it. No, I don't either. Well, that's the way it's supposed to be done, isn't that? Right. That's the way it's supposed to be done. So they have they have a budget. They have a budget now of seventy thousand two twenty six fifty two. Uh, which one are you talking about? Water board. Okay. <coughs> That was considering that. That was. I mean, if you do that backwards, that's well. Even at eighteen, that's seventy-two thousand. Right? Well, the seventy thousand at, at the number that they have have here would equate to a mill of seventeen thousand five hundred fifty-six dollars and sixty-three cents. Oh, so that'll be fine. That'll be fine. Okay. 
that had, even if it was 18,000, that's 72,000 they're still on. Yeah. I, I assume the 5% has been, I, I assume that's why this is. because of 5% has been. That, the program must have done that, right? Must have, yeah. Um, I think that they requested this amount, and I adjusted this expense number to get this number to come out. To four bills? I, I thought you adjusted that number to come out to four bills. Well, I, like they asked for seventy thousand two hundred and twenty-six dollars. Oh, okay. Right. They re That's like right. they that, had that number, that and then I broke it out into these, and I adjusted this expense number so that this number would come they, out correct. They listed a lot more expenses, but hadn't put their revenues in their budget. It was like all weird, and their revenues were different, and then their expenses. So I just made it come out correctly to what they were wanting. And it seemed like some of them couldn't even understand. Historical Society was so screwed up. <laughs> Historical Society, Fair Boards was kind of the same. I did receive that, that one too. Yeah. Fair and Boards, that one. Library V9. That should be okay. We'll just have to cut it later. Most likely, we'll just have to cut the library ones. Because I think that number, we don't know what the value of Cooper's down is yet either, so we've got to wait for that to come in before we can figure the libraries. But I'm sure that's too much money for them. End up being cut seriously, it seems like it's Oh yeah, the, well, the library's way out of, out of, out of yeah. whack here. Yeah, so we'll just cut it. Uh, 116. We can have it next door and cut it later. Well, C9, excuse me. Library is E9. Huh? E9. Yeah, because in the program, that's what made the mistake for FAR last or the, for this year is because I had put in the right amount for the 20 mils, but put a 10 mil la um, limit, so it cuts it off right at the 10 mils. So. Your program, right? Mm -hmm. The government's off? Yep. Well, yeah, we're way off on this. I mean, it's at 77,742, 32, mm -hmm. and that would be... A mill, if it's short of whole county, that'd be a mill of 19435 And the city, the city is what percent of the whole county? Uh, last year it was 10 or something. Yeah, well, last year say 11 and a half. But Maybe. Um, E9B. City of Cooperstown last year was 13. 13 percent of the. It was 1.7 million. Yeah, oh. it's 10 percent, just a smidgen over. Okay, so 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 10 percent. So it should be somewhere in that sixty-six thousand dollar range is where it should be. Yeah. But all of, I guess, if, if we advertise the seventy-two thousand, and it's the advertisement says maximum four mil limit, we're legal on the advertisement. Okay. I, I think. Because we can cut it out. For yeah, you can cut your it, please. Yeah. So I think probably we can just pretty much advertise. You might, you might have other questions on the advertisement. I, I did because when I was typing in some numbers, I just wanted to kind of get a an overview of the advertisement and get it started. And then if we made any changes, I could go back and just change them. But when I was putting in some numbers, it, two numbers are coming out to be the same number, and last year they weren't. So I do have a few questions if Ron and John or whoever would stop down and kind of make sure I'm putting in the right numbers in this ad. Well, and then I suppose we, the commissioners, need to approve the advertisement. I think so. so. Won't the ad be a, similar to this, just a one page one? Won't we just, won't we just download this page? And put it in? It's kind of like that, except for it's, it's like that big sheet, yes. but it's just that half of that big yeah, sheet. Yeah, that's yep. right here. It's a county tax levy, it's right here. It, yeah. Into dollar figures. Yeah. yeah. So, okay. 
So, would somebody get together on Monday and go over this? Or either after this meeting. If, if Samantha is available after this meeting, we could. If you had specific questions you wanted to ask after this meeting, I could do And then we could go over Monday. And Monday. So, we could it also go over Monday. And, so then, and then meet on Tuesday morning to, as a commission group. I do have, and I don't know if it should be a change, I just but I think we should talk about it. yesterday to kind of get her reasoning of why she increased her budget so much. Um, could I go through that list for you guys right now? That's okay. Um, for the soils, she just increased it by $100 just in case it went up. She wasn't thinking it was going to go up, but she was just thinking if prices go up, she would have it. What, what did she increase it from and to? Um, four to five. It was four to five. Hundred. So, uh, oh, uh. so she's saying that there wasn't any reason that she upped it. It was just to be safe for whatever. Um, the second one for assessments, she was thinking if we had any more like central plains. But so, but I don't think the central plains is getting taken out of this budget this year. I think it got taken out of. Is that general? I think we paid it already. Yeah. Yep, and so I said, no, I think that they've got a different spot for that. So she said then that was her reasoning for doing that. Uh, for training and travel, it was just for, she kept that one the same as the previous year for traveling in the county. The next one for dues, um, that one got um, upped quite a bit, and because she was thinking the IAO was going to be more for dues. So when she did calculate out her dues, it's $175 for IAO and $30 for NDACO. So then that's that's all that she's going to need for dues. 205? Yep. Well, so this, this one I'm looking at here wasn't correct. We made, we made those changes. Um, you guys made the changes to keep it the same as the previous right. year. Yeah. Yep. Um, so I was just basically trying to figure out why she increased everything okay. the way that she did. So she would only need the... 205. Yeah, the 205. You're correct. Yep. So that's... And okay. then the... Those are, those are, those are the damage reviews. No. Um, the NDACO, that's just for the... Yeah tax director or whatever, and then the IAO, um, she is part of that so that she can get um, discounted price for her classes, books, stuff like that. And she said that if she calculated it out correctly, um, if if we pay this dues, it would save the county money for all of her classes. Um, uh, supplies, she works better with bookcases, so she was wanting to get some bookcases next year. She was then um, wanting me to ask you guys if we could increase that to 500 instead of 200. Um, software services, that's just the Vanguard um, yearly cost. And um, because we went over budget in 2014 and we are going to be going over budget in 2015, she felt that she just upped it to the 4000 4, Um But it should only be the $3,025 if the prices stay the same. Um, training, I have her training sheet for which ones she's going to take, how much they are going to cost, and yeah. So she is taking already one this year, and then she's hoping to take two others this year not really sure she's going to get them done. And so then it would be that she would have, she's hoping to take um, $400 worth of classes and in 2016 plus 
um, this one, this one, this one, and this one. So it would be another 400 So $1,200 worth of classes that she's hoping, hoping to take next year to get certified. Please do count it for certification. That's what I got for you guys. So we're training and travel is in the month of twelve hundred dollars for next year. Um, just training for the classes, not travel. Well, those were online, I think. Ah, uh, I think so. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, I have her do up this sheet for right. me. Right, my meals are online, I presume. Okay. I think so. S six of them were online. The, the six beginning courses. Then you have to go to Bismarck to take the expensive courses, like the six hundred dollar course. You have to go to Bismarck. The four hundred dollars. Four hundred dollar ones you have to drive to Bismarck. The hundred dollar ones are online. I think so. Yeah, I think you're correct on that. Yep. So two thousand dollars would cover it then for next year training and travel for twelve hundred dollars worth of fees to pay and eight hundred dollars worth of travel. Mm -hmm. That's in a different line if you look at your budget, John. The training is on the bottom there, the last one. Right. The training and travel. I don't know why they're lumped together. I think she was anticipating. I don't know if she thinks she's going to go need to go reappraise every house in the county or what the deal is. I mean, I think that was for mileage for driving around the county. Oh, right. I, 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 so. I don't know, but in our final in our in, in our final laws here with the sheet I have, we did, we just we didn't give her nothing for training, but the training and travel up to thirty five hundred. But it seems like a two thousand coverage, right? Mm -hmm. That'd be eight hundred dollars to go to Bismarck once. There's 1200 right? Yep. Or twice. She, was she going to go to Bismarck twice? Yep. Bismarck twice. Oh. Maybe we go 2500 on the train and travel. Uh, yeah. You're not going to go out and appraise houses unless the township doesn't have an appraiser and that's you. And then, and then it's a dense mess. Then, then they pay the total cost. So that's going to help. Yeah. So I would think we should move that training and travel cost to twenty five hundred. Okay. Now so that Vanguard software that goes away as far as I'm concerned. Does everybody understand what the Vanguard software is? No. It was in an attempt to make the mill ten mills worth more money in Great Scully, the fire commissioners contacted Vanguard. And Vanguard came in, and their specialty is appraising property for those reasons to increase valuation. Right. So they so they increased the value. They did Cooper, and and they didn't even do it correctly. In order to appraise in order to appraise a house in Cooperstown, you have to appraise all the houses in Cooperstown. And Cooperstown, Hanford, and Minford. It's by class throughout the county. So they anyway they brought Vanguard in. Vanguard came with their software package along with the appraisal. Appraisal cost, what, $106,000 or something, right? So it's something like that. Anyway, anyway, then we ended up with the Vanguard software. The city, the, the fee is, is $5,500 a year, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. City pays half, we pay half. What does it do? It does nothing. It, it, as far as I'm concerned, it, it does not even correlate with our government soft software. There's no link to it at all. It all it does is gives the city the ability, or anybody that uses it, the ability to raise the valuations. And that, you look at that's all it does. So it's appraisal software. Correct. And that we don't use. So it has nothing to do with the tax director's position, other than if you want to raise value. It ended up here because Vanguard used it when it came in and appraised Cooper Settlement, and they sold the product, and, and they just kept buying it. It has not to, to the, for the tax director to do her job, Doesn't it is need. not needed. Yeah. And we don't use it anywhere else, right? But yeah, and right now it's not installed on the Cooper city computer system. Uh, Tara's got it on her computer, and then we got it on our computer. So if we decide to stop paying it, Cooper will probably elect to Pay the entire fifty-five hundred because Vera likes it, but, and but we can do that. We can just say we're not paying our half, and if Cooperstown wants to pay fifty-five hundred for it, that's their business. Vera likes it. Uh, right. Well, she's so. Go ahead. No, you guys can go oh. ahead. Just, What's that? Just keep talking. Well, well, she's 
been trained on it, and she's well, she is comfortable with it. She's comfortable with it. She's yeah. But once the reevaluate, once the appraisal is done, what does she use it for? Now? Well, like for Cheeks Bar, I, I saw that she had put that in there. She had put in the original square footage. She had put in the new square footage, the revised number based on the addition. I and think. I think when somebody builds a patio, she puts it in there and appraises it at a certain dollar amount. And but Cooperstown has their own. Mm -hmm. They have their own assessment. We don't. That's not our. Yeah, she does that for Cooperstown. Right. We don't <laughs> use it. We don't. Not, not in the column, none of the townships use it. If they get it, it would be their, their cost. It is not a cost that Griggs County should should be. Yeah, I thought somehow Red Willow was in on that system. They use Vanguard. They use Vanguard to appraise Red Willow when they did those homes out there. But. But Barb did not run the software. No. <laughs> and then and. and the, the real, the real knock on this, and, and it's a, they get it wrong by technicality, but this century code specifically says that the appraisal has to be done by a North Dakota resident. Vanguard gets by with it, say they have somebody that is Lives. certified and certified in North Dakota. So when the appraisal was done, they just hand the, the paperwork to Barb and Barb signed it off, which is not the way it's supposed to be done. But any, anyway, that doesn't. It, it doesn't matter. We don't need it to run Briggs County, and it's a detriment to our citizens to have it there because it, it doesn't give it any. I've never seen it where it's used been used to lower valuation. Valuation and take this into account, guys. <laughs> Everything that we do, whether it be farmland or any appraisals, we always appraise the highest value. Take farmland, for instance. We don't put in any modifiers, we don't do anything. We assume that that piece of land produces the highest amount it can. And it's up to the citizens then to lower their evaluation by putting in modifiers. The homes are the same way. They just hit, does it have fire, but all this. Why do we keep appraising to the highest level? Why do we, why do we have a system in place that keeps up, 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 up? When, if you, if you look at it logically, we already got it to the highest level. Almost all equalization should be coming down rather than going up. And that's just the nature of the beast. But government government, government doesn't, government doesn't uh, take into account that they are the people. They just want more money for themselves when... If your home, if your home was appraised brand new here at, at $200,000 and now it's 40 years old, there should have been devaluations. Everything depreciates. And just from looking online and, and the samples online on their software, I don't see where it does that at all. Yeah, I, no, I, I if we had control over all the mills, it wouldn't make one bit of difference. Because we can decrease the mill levy. Absolutely. As the valuations climbed, even it, it wouldn't matter how accurate they were. But we got all these mandatory mills that we don't control and in most cases, they take everything they can get. So, from that standpoint, we should try to keep the valuations within reason. And and these this was that was called in specifically. I can show you in the minutes of the meeting where where they were talking about how to raise revenue in Briggs County. And and two meetings later, Van Der was here giving them a presentation. <laughs> we know it's not too hard to figure out. We know how. <laughs> I got some information on Vanguard, okay. if I can kind of sneak in here. Um, 50 of the counties in North Dakota use it out of the 53. Um, I guess the other three are going to be going towards it to um, the um, accordance with the new regulations. So you're trying to... You're, and I'm, just giving, to I'm just giving my... If you're trying to talk, you need to make you're not doing very good. No, I, I, don't, I don't use it, so I don't, I don't know much. That's, I just kind of asked... You just made up my mind. <laughs> <laughs> well, there, how many properties are there that, you know, houses that are taxed out in the country that would be the county's responsibility? It can't be very damn many. None. Yeah. The townships are yeah, right. right. So what's the point? So no one, no one else uses it. Only Cooperstown uses it. So. Yeah, Denver and Hanford don't for whatever reason. So does the SAC director have another software that they are using too? GovernSoft. GovernSoft. And this does this does not link with GovernSoft. So anything you type into this Vanguard, it, no you have to hand you have to transpose everything manually. 
right. Yeah, completely different software. This, this was, when, when Vanguard came out here, this was the software they had in place to go and, and reset the right. Out. That's how they did it. And then they just turned it over. Well, here we did it, and now here we turn it over, but we turn it over for $5,500 a year. What regulation specifically are you talking about? I have no idea. Who? Sorry. Who gave you that? Um, when I sat down with Patty to get these reasonings or whatever, when it was just the yearly Vanguard, I said, what is Vanguard? And then she started telling me about that 53 of the county, or 50 of the counties use it out of the 53, and that... It would have been like the other 53 to go along. I said a sales brochure. Yeah. And then there was some regulations that, um, that they help um, correlate with it, and that's why the other three counties are going to be going with Vanguard too. That's all the information I got. I'm sorry, I don't. I've never seen a regulation that counties have to use Vanguard. Mm -hmm. so no, I guess there's some. There's <laughs> something. Any that there's like something in Vanguard that gets us up to code or something like that. I don't know. I. I think we should scratch the three thousand dollars for Vanguard software. And I think we should do Vanguard off the county speed dial. <laughs> Piper. <laughs> okay, so right now. Is that um, a motion? <laughs> no, we're just talking. We have to approve this. Like that, that's my recommendation. Is that I don't see the benefit to the taxpayers for having that Vanguard software. So if there's no benefit, if there's no financial benefit, then there's no need to have it. Um, when we were talking about the training, um, is it that training line that should have been moved to um, 2,500 and then that travel and training stayed at the 3,500? No, that should be made at 2,500 and the other one should stay zero. Stay zero. The software services is going to go to zero. Zero. It's going to walk the flying line. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to do anything with like the supplies? <laughs> no, I think it's fine. The 200 or? Yeah, I, I, no, I, I think it's, I, I think, I think the, I, as far as my own, I think the way it is is fine. I, I think we scratch the 3,000 and change the 2,500 and I think everything else stays the same, but that's just my own. Okay. You know, we're still dealing with a outstanding balance that, that was not approved. Not approved, and that we still have to deal with some on there. Mm -hmm. Because the, the training and travel line here in this budget last year there was there was no training. It was just said travel. So that that check that was written or that that bill that was incurred. For training, there was no line item for training. That was completely off budget. We just changed this, and that's why it shows 2015 as having a as having a training and travel, but it actually doesn't. We're going to up the dues to cover the 205. Of, I don't know. Um, this is what it that is. Is if we aren't associated with it, it would be the one twenty five. If we are, it'd be the hundred dollars. That's getting discounts on books and stuff like that. So well, it's the discounts enough to make up for paying the dues. That's what she was calculating. Out. And the books come out of the premium budget. I'm sorry, I, I try to get as much information as I could. Oh, you did fine. <laughs> oh, 
okay, so last year. So that Are they making sense to your questions? Well, it just looks to me like you save one hundred and thirty-five dollars for paying one hundred and seventy-five dollars in dues. <laughs> that's that's my question. <laughs> that must be surprising. <laughs> and it's not one hundred and thirty-five dollars either, because the math isn't correct. <laughs> Five times twenty-five is one hundred and twenty-five. Where I come from, not one hundred and thirty-five. Close enough. <laughs> It's a ten dollar filing fee. <laughs> Which one are you looking at? I'm sorry. A hundred versus one hundred and twenty-five times five. This total should be six hundred and twenty-five dollars. Five times one hundred and twenty-five is not six hundred and thirty-five. Right. That's what I'm telling you. Okay, got it. I understand what you're saying. <laughs> I'm like looking at one. <laughs> He's planning on ordering a whole bunch of books. See, I, I don't, I don't know about. <laughs> but then again, are the books necessary? Well, <laughs> don't we? We must have books. We had a tax director. Yeah, yeah we did. But so I mean, I think we're, we're slowly getting to what Shaxon should be talking about. <laughs> yeah, that's up to you, Doug. No, no, I don't want to. Any other budgets we want to take another visit with? So should we run down these and make sure we got them all right quick here? So yeah, do, you want, do we want to do that dues? So soils are at 400, right? Mm -hmm. Assessor will leave at 860. Travel and training is 2500, correct? Uh -huh. Dues 40. Office supplies 200. And that's it. Right? Do we want to increase that dues or no? Based on what I see, there doesn't there pay it does uh, cost money. Yeah. So no. No. Okay. Member of what? IAO is it? What's that? IAO. Um. National Association of Assessing Officers. I didn't see. I guess that's not the one to offer online either. Um, they get they have conferences, courses. No, no, but I mean that that, that, that is required. Was required for the state. And I can't imagine you get a discount. So, what training is she planning on? I don't know. the accreditation. I don't know. That, that's what we need to have. It, it, it's quite obvious here that, that we're being neglectful in our management of the tax director's position. So Samantha, can you call the state and get a listing of what's needed, what classes are needed in order to get accredited? The curriculum. Yeah, yeah the curriculum. This is it's not a hand. That's all she needs to look at. That's so. all. Yeah, we don't need to yeah. be traveling with Ben. No, we we're already going down this road once where we got we left it up to and, and she's new, we can't blame it on her. She doesn't know well we need to lay out what she needs to do. And, and I, and I think manage. that when I went in I said, Can you, I get a list of courses that you're actually going to get certification from the state? And they back up. That you, you call the I call it. Yep, yep, <laughs> that's fine. Right. Yep, that's fine. Yeah. Again, she she we can't expect her to be able to tell us what to do because she were she doesn't know what to do. So we, we need to have it right from the state, and then we can show her, she and then we can cut, we can put it up on the board, and we can check it off as she does it. You talked to her own snake oil salesman. Yeah, it's too easy to get let down a path. Yeah, 
when she doesn't know, by trying to do good, right. she got led down a path where she shouldn't get. Led down the Vanguard trail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, no return. So I'm sure those people are more than willing to offer their service. $40 an hour. Okay, done with budget? Well, yeah, I think that's it. Okay. And then we'll Did you guys um, get anything discussed at the health district meeting? I got a email of different things, whether our, what our mill could be and da 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 da. It's, it's going to be 75000 Okay. between the two. Okay. But the number in the budget here, oh. that's, is that the correct number? I think it is. Well, no, no it's not. Ours yeah. should be like 31800 because Nelson's coverage has already got their set there. Oh, okay. So their, their figure should be correct. Okay. And if it's a $75,000 total, ours is higher than it well, would no, be. Ours is, yeah, ours is 7, oh, 37. Let's see. Ours is 37. It's just like 31.8, I think. So. Let me see what that email said here. So instead of 37.311, it's going to be 31,800 that's going on. Yeah, could, well, Nelson's County's was set at 43.2. Okay. So ours should be 31.8. 31.8. She was doing it off of mills too, not yeah, dollars. I, I mean, I was just we, we, what we need to do is look at the at the total valuation for the dollar valuation for Nelson County and total dollar valuation for Grace County, and then what percentage is Grace County of Nelson County of the total? Yep. And then that's really the way that. We need to do it. Then we should pay that percentage of the seventy-five thousand. There you go. <clears throat> so then we take that number and divide it by our valuation. There you go. Yep. That's, That's all it should, should be. be done. Yeah. But and we I don't understood the conflict. But, but, yeah. Right? But, but Nelson's already <laughs> said there. I was having a little trouble yeah. getting her pounded in there. I understand. I mean, I, I, but that's the way it's supposed to be. Is yeah. we got the valuation of each county and then. But once we get the evaluation of each county, then we will adjust it, right? Yep. From that thirty-one. Right. So we can start at this number. Yeah, maybe. What What did you get from her? Sorry, I was in the process of doing that. And then I don't know why, but last year we sent more in than we had pledged. We We got a letter um, that said thirty-two, but I had a signed budget. Of the of this thirty seven three eleven, so I don't and it was signed be, or it was dated before I took over, so I don't know what happened. Well, what happened maybe is when we similar to today, except for we probably knew less than we know now. We went to that meeting last year, and she had proposed a $90,000 budget from the two counties together. When you say budget, you mean $90,000? Levy. Levy from the two counties. Between the two, yeah. Right. And, and we, we looked at the reserves that she was sitting on, and we lowered it to 75,000 because we feel that and, and and nothing has changed. Did you hear the number she has in her checking account? We need it's to like about 2 years with no 300,000 dollars or something. Mm -hmm. So, we lowered the levy to 75 between the two counties. I think as a as a result, Nelson County lowered theirs correctly and in the process of all the confusion in the budgeting process last year, I don't think we did. Okay. I think we levied too much. And then consequently, we gave them that over the course of the year as the taxes were collected. And, and if you do, do the budget, Chris, some of that, some of that money is actually already allocated for this following year. 
So that there is a really 216 or ten thousand dollars in there. Some of it is allocated. No, it's more like 200. Yeah. But it's still a lot. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'm not quite sure. Then, being that was grant money, and, and how did they get it and not spend it? So the 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 argument that that's grant money going to be spent probably doesn't hold true after you see it for two years of balance carried forward like that. And so it's so, increased again. Right. So so it, right. So that so that has to tell you that that balance is being built up by excess levy rather than grant grants. Yeah. And if we could if we could hold her to a, to doing a budget correctly, where you had an ending balance and then carried forward and, and then budgeted the grant money and carried that forward, then that would show that it, you know you'd be able to see what's going on there. But that doesn't. Well, Dell is whether it be by design or lack of understanding. Right. right. We don't get shown that. <clears throat> she doesn't have her QuickBooks or whatever she uses for her books set up to do. Accounting and budgeting as as is supposed to be done with a public publicly funded entity. That but but quick quick works could show as a as a, an account balance brought forward. And it'll, it'll do it. It just needs with something different. Right. Her her balances brought forward on her reports are called net profit. Right. You know. <laughs> right. Yeah. Which is fine. But then it should show up in retained earnings or something well, in the yeah, following year. Yeah, she should, future life, she should, she should balance it off on liabilities on the other side of it, and then it'll come forward correctly. Future liabilities will offset, offset the, the profit. You know. It just depends on me much, much. So seventy-five thousand, and Greg and Nelson County's contributing how much of that? 40, 42, But that's a preliminary number, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. See, I have, based on 2015's valuations, Nelson County would do $43,164, and Grace would do $31,836. Now, if we do based on, oops, if we do based on 2014's valuations, Nelson would do 42666 Greg's would do 32334. What are you using for Greg's County 2014 valuations? Um, 17,000. Or 17,430. And we know that's not right. Right. Um, and then um, for this year's, if we use the 18,425, um, Griggs would do 32,572. Oh, I should say the 18,435, isn't it? Well, you're right. I mean, you're right. If Nelson already knows it, or is, but it's not, it's not set in stone, probably. Why is it? Well, well, even with what she used, it's within a few bucks. So. so should I take on that one where she's estimating the 18? Eighteen million four twenty-five for Greg's. No, no, no. We can't because we won't make we don't make up the difference. That, that seventy-five thousand number will change. Mm -hmm. or, or the ratio between the two of them. Right. Yeah. Two, two, oh, the two, two, yeah. yeah, the just percentage. Of yeah, the percentage is going to change later. Their number might go down. Yeah, or their number might go up, but we don't make up the difference. Seventy-five thousand isn't a hard number. Yeah. It, yeah. It is. She she was saying that it should be. Um, prorated across yeah, okay. Nelson. The district is going to levy 75000 and later we'll figure out. Yeah. Cool. That's cool. Cool. We, need to, we need to calculate our pro rata share of that as a dollar number, and that will determine yeah. the mills. So, that, yeah. I mean, that's what's what supposed to be done. Mm, that's what's supposed to be done, right. Yeah, later on. Yeah. So if our number, if, if, we, if right now if we subtract their number, from right, 75. 75 and get our number, and if our number goes down, their number goes up, and vice versa. That's no, no, up. actually, because she had it was over 75,000 on her proposed budget. That we lowered it. Well, what I'm saying is, if, if their number is in solo now, mm -hmm. then our number, if we subtract, if we subtract their number from the 75, 
to, uh, uh, to come to our number. If our number is less than that, actually less than that, that 75 is going to have to be decreased if we can't increase theirs. So 75 is going to have to come down. It can't, because we can't, we can't kick in more than our, than our percentage, percentage of what we're due, what we're supposed to. Well, so the, problem, the, number goes up, the, the, the problem is she can't calculate that yet. I, I know that. Nelson County's number is going to change, not the 75,000. Could Nelson County's number go up if it has to? It'll have to because it'd be, because Dep depending on what our valuation is. If our valuation is, is lower than if our percentage, I mean, if our percentage is lower than their percentage, will have to be higher. But, but, it, it, yeah. but if they approve their budget based on the forty-three two hundred, they probably can't raise it. Later. That's right. But but the number she had in her proposed budget was eighty thousand five hundred and eleven to a lot. If we use the same yeah. numbers as last yeah. year. No. The reason yeah. for that yeah. is the yeah. seven we paid more than we should have last year. Right. Okay. Yeah. But I, I don't know, is there, a, is there a mechanism to make that up? I, it's been a while since I've read the, the agreement between Nelson and Riggs, but I thought that the percentage, I thought the participation was, was based on percentage of value of the colonies. And, it, and it, yeah, I mean, maybe there is a way to make up if you overpay, but I don't, I never read it agreement that close, but I don't know about that. What was what was she assuming? I mean, what? How did Nelson County get to their number? She used the exact she used the exact numbers from last year to, to do this year. Is what she told us when she was here. Mm -hmm. So she used the same percentages as last year to account to go to this year. Oh. I don't know if it was a percentage because when she gave when she did her percentages, she gave my office a letter saying. Um, you know, Nelson oh, or is gonna let or is gonna levy this much. Grace is gonna levy this much, and we levied more. So we. Well, it, it is a, it is a percentage because the. After even though we gave them more than we should well, have. No, it's all it, it, but it's all based on a percentage. It's it's the total combined value of each county, county and then. And then you make that into a percentage. So if Nelson County is forty-five percent or fifty-five percent, of the total valuation, they pay fifty-five percent of the seventy-five thousand. Yeah. yeah. Is she using last year's? That's what she told us when she was here. She has to because her proposed budget was uh, eighty thousand five hundred eleven. So we overpaid last year. So she put the same numbers back. So in. if we overpaid last year, she used the same percentages. We're scheduled to overpay again this year. Mm -hmm. And that's the way. The but but it, it but it we're not because we lowered it to seventy five again. So and I think Nelson did it right last year. So we should budget thirty two three thirty four. But, but if we leave it at thirty-seven thousand, we're all right it, for the advertisement, right. and then lower it later when we get the final numbers. We have the final numbers if we use last year's valuations to determine the percentage. But we're going to use this year's numbers once we get ours, aren't we? But that number's not going to change. Only the mill levy will change. It doesn't matter. We have we have to we have to use. Her actual number she requested for our determination. Thirty-two, three thirty-four, right? No, she her budget she requested eight thousand dollars, right? In the proposed two thousand sixteen budget. Yes. Okay. So so. So we have to advertise this thirty-seven three eleven. No, we know. So she she proposed that. Did we and we approved that? We approved seventy-five thousand. Okay, so we approved seventy-five thousand. Yep. So that's the number then that we base it off of. Yeah. But, but it's going to be later that that split instead of fifty-five forty-five, it might be fifty-six forty-four. No, it won't, because we're going to use last year's percentages. Well, I thought we were had to use this year's. No, I think she used last year's to arrive at the number. But it's we'll, we'll have to use this year's. We yeah. have to use this year's to actually figure the number because we why? Can't. Well, I think you have. I think that's same the reason, same reason that we have to increase the the value of a mill is because the, the, the it has to be based on the on the on the net worth, not the net worth, the valuation of the colony. 
<coughs> depends on what the depends on what the agreement says between the two counties. Well, it could be that the agreement says. I, I just figured the agreement said you have to use the per net back. I think she used last year's for preparing the proposed mm -hmm. budget, mm -hmm. and then I think much. this year will will determine the actual percentage by a little bit of changes from last year. So if if our percentage went up or down, it'll change that amount. That's what I'm saying is if that 75 is a hard number. Then Nelson County can't have a hard number yet because we don't. Not unless we, unless right. it's in the agreement that we use the prior year's valuations. Well, right. Yeah, right. To determine the percentage. I mean that that you're splitting the hairs there. To well, no, right, right, right. But I'm saying they, they, they might they might they might have budgeted too low and not give and not have a way to go up. Is what Ron is trying to yeah, yeah I'm keep just, us from having to do. I'm just kind of in favor of leaving it at thirty-seven thousand and then lowering it to the actual number. Right. Later, if needed. Speaking but, of valuations, uh, do we have an appraisal for that addition down there at the propane deal yet? Wasn't somebody supposed to be doing that? Wow. See it just we paid it. I wasn't sure if that was this year or next year because uh, they got five years exempt, was it? Mm -hmm. Oh, they got exempt. Wasn't it? The, the, the elevator. The elevator will come off. The addition so. wasn't exempt, was it? Well, I can't. Remember. Well, the propane goes on right away. Yeah. Right. There we can't. Go. We can't exempt anymore. It failed. I know. Yeah. So I, I don't know if it's supposed to be out this year or not. No, no. no. It, 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 because we, it, it'll be next next year. Tax, tax season. Tax season. Yeah. For the elevator and the propane. It was a trade this year, but it won't go on until next year. Do what they told us. Yeah. I just wondering what the appraisal was. Oh. No, I haven't seen I haven't seen that about any place. I guess we got the appraisal. Well, that's about back. three million less, no. <laughs> <laughs> not the not the book, and that's separate deal. No. <laughs> so yeah, whatever we want to do on that, I mean we're gonna it's gonna be close. Should I try and get it a little closer than the thirty thirty seven? Well, I don't think we'd be hurt any of leaving it at the thirty seven and and later we're going to reduce where it, it has to be after that. If needed, we'll reduce it to the correct number later. Because we can if, always if go not, down, not up. Yeah, we can it. always go down. <laughs> so we go it's down. not the dollars. It won't, it's it the mills that can't go up, it, not the dollars. It won't lower it. It won't be because we're not up against a hard levy. So if we if we leave it high at a higher dollar value, it'll stay there. It's, it, this isn't like we're up against a, a hard levy where... It has to get lowered because we can't go. We can't go over. No, I, I thought we were going to take that seventy-five thousand dollars and decide if it's a fifty-five forty-five split or a fifty-six forty-four split or there's a no really, forty-six split. No, see, there's no really, way to really do that. We just we just have to the seventy-five thousand and what the split is. The split is and, and do that based on last year's upper. Assessment. That's what they're doing. There is no really way. There is. Yeah, no I, I thought we were going to do it on this year's assessment once we got I mean, it. I don't think it's worth screwing around. <laughs> but if you $300 that that might swing this yeah. equation, That's why don't we just yeah. put in there whatever Nelson didn't and forget about it? It won't adjust itself, is what I'm saying. When they come up with a mill levy, mm -hmm. this won't adjust itself because we're not up against a, high, a hard number at the top. So if, if we if so, I, I thought we were I thought you guys approved seventy five thousand. We did. Uh, let me amount for the for the entire district. We did. We did. Okay. And then later we have to decide how to how to divide that up. That seventy five thousand. Who pays? No, we don't have to do anything. I would just leave it. Okay. Yeah, yeah that's that's for. Well, I mean, maybe maybe we just pay up to the up to whatever our portion is, and and, and we don't have to pay the rest of it. Yeah. But that didn't happen last year. We were paying because <laughs> it wasn't adjusted after the immediate change, right? And then see, that's that's my point. If we use last year's figures and last year's figures we're didn't adjust, then we're overpaying right now. <laughs> <Exactly. laughs> yeah, I didn't, didn't I didn't translate that word, but that's that's the point I was trying to make. Is we did it wrong already, or maybe we're wrong again? I don't know. Right. But you're right. It's probably just probably whatever you guys, whatever the number was, thirty-two thousand or whatever it was, do it. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, from budgeting, from a budgeting standpoint, they've already finished it. They're gonna. We've, that was approved, right? They budgeted it. They approved their budget. We agreed to make up the difference. Let's just do it and be done with it instead yep. of I agree. monkey in our own. We should. Somebody should remember to calculate that pro rata percentage after we get done with our budget and get our evaluation so that we can use that for next year. Mm -hmm. we, if we're always a year behind, what's the difference? It don't matter. Right. It doesn't change that much. Well, I mean, I don't know if we have Nelson Tony's evaluation, but we got Nelson Tony's evaluation last year. We did, we did have that percentage. We should, I, we should have Nelson Tony's too, I think, or did have it or something. Right, but, but I think... Uh, what was, there, what was there, Jim? Was that in the budget they gave you? No. Oh, I threw it away. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I'm sure that's how Jack got to that number. Yeah. He's been doing this for a long time. So, I mean, I just... Okay, I'm fine with it. What, what, what number are we going to put in? 32? Hey. Yep. You with us? Yeah, I am. I am, I swear. You're on the clock here. <laughs> I'm talking to Bob. <laughs> what number are you out there with your 32 what? 32, 334. Yeah, Or is it the 32, 572? Always go to the lower one. Yep. Or did you want the 31? What did Nelson? I came up with 31,800 at the meeting when That's I did the uh, split. <laughs> I guess it fits a few bucks over just for budgeting. So should we do the higher one? Did she tell you what Nelson County? Nope, I have three different ones for Nelson County too. The other thing, the other thing that we That's that we right. weren't doing that was different. And then I was just catching this over the phone. Was our budgeted number? Then we also paid the homestead credit and the. I don't. Home tax I don't know that that's what happened. Oh, okay. I I don't. I think she was trying to guess what happened. I think what happened is we didn't come back and change our budget. I oh. think that's right. I don't think we did after her meeting. Because Samantha said she based that mill levy off of a signed budget. Okay. So I have I letters. Think, I have the letters and everything in a file. I think that I thing all got lost in the trans transition and translation. translation. The number stayed the same as it was before the meeting. I think it did. The, it. I don't know. It, it don't matter at this point. Well, pick a number then, whatever you guys think. I so, have the 2016 estimated for. Uh, well, that was estimated for Nelson had their estimated valuation was the 24 and then our estimated was the 18 425 So then they got she got the 32 572 for Greg's if you use the 2014 evaluations Greg's would be at 32 334 if you use 2013 valuations were at 31 836 no, Thirty-two, thirty-two, three, Is that the number that Nelson put in their budget? I wonder. Go well, subtract that from seventy-five. Is thirty-three, well, they put forty-three, forty-one, eight hundred, or whatever. Yeah. Forty-three, two. Yeah. Apparently, they put in forty-three, two. So they use forty-three, two hundred in their budget. Shouldn't we use thirty-one, eight? That's using the 2013 evaluations. Those well, it numbers just, are pretty close. It just makes it come out to 75,000, which we, it has to. <laughs> she and she's doing that. She's got the total levy well, for I'm the. I'm doing this for my election. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can contact um, uh, Nelson's auditor and see what number he's has in there, and then just subtract that from 75,000. Just call Jack. Ask him what they approved for. The mill levy for Nelson County Health, and then just use the difference between that and seventy-five thousand for our budget number. Okay, for an approved budget number, like proposed budget number or whatever. Right. Ask them. Yeah, ask them what their portion of the of the budget, their dollar portion of the budget is going to be. Okay. Yeah. 
Next year we can just do zero. That's <laughs> okay. <laughs> She was going to hire another employee last year. So she had this big surplus of that income. Well, if we went one year without, she'd still have a surplus. So. We'll see what happens. If, the, if that cash value keeps she's, she's keeping her powder dry for a pandemic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bob isn't going to show up. Boss um, asked me to have you call him and put him on speakerphone. Yeah. Oh, he can be here if you would like, but he then sent an email saying, have John call me. She's making me breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> what? So funny. Okay, let's call Bob. Ready? Mm -hmm. I'm just going to go to the Hello, Bob. Hi, Bob, John, and yeah. uh, the rest of the county commission's here. Okay. Can you give us an update on where we stand as far as... Uh, Monies need to be spent yet for on, on the draft. Okay, so right now, what I've got in here is uh, uh, thirty-four thousand with equipment and furnishings and pictures. I just talked to Debbie. I sent it to her. Uh, Mike and Pella and I. We have to change the invoice, break it down a little bit more. She wants a little bit more breakdown. And I'm getting, I'm working on that right now. Um, I hope I get that done today. I don't know what my schedule is. It's been pretty tough. These people, they don't want to really, uh, there's no one that can jump in this quick and take care of anything. But we're working on it on comparison bids right now. So that's that's where we're at. We're not, we're not going to achieve the 42. We're just going to get the 30, the 34. No, 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 that's just what I'm talking about. I got some more, some more bids coming on some other stuff. The one thing that talked to Ron about too, um, if you want to bring in someone like, like KNS, Cleaners to, to do a final cleanup on the construction part that's an eligible, that's an eligible cost. We can do that. I, I can get bids on that. I think you should get a bid and we can still decide later. Yeah, we can. Yeah, I, I talked to the KNF. He said he, 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 he sent a guy this afternoon at 4 o'clock to look it over. He'd have a bid, bid to back to me by Monday morning. Yeah, I think we should try to get the bid. Do we need to get more than one or not? Yeah. Well, that, if it's over, if it's over three thousand dollars, we need more than one bid. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It shouldn't be though, should it, Bob? I would not. I would think so. For that, I mean, there's not. It's just a final dust off. It's not like they got a shampoo cart and scrub wall. But he could have that done by next Wednesday. No, Bob. Uh, he could have. He could have a, a bid to me, and then and I'll get, I'll get the comparison bid, and then. Uh, when you actually do the work, it would, it would probably be a week or something from now. I mean, they're, they're busy too. Well, that, that I, I, I explained to him uh, down in Valley in the KNF uh, what the situation was. And he said at the very least, you get an invoice and then we can get a calendar down. If, if you guys see what's going on. But this money all has to be spent, in, spent by the end of the month. Right, yes, I know that. Yep. You know, I think these, these uh, carpet guys and these cleaners, they, 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 can, they will not be able to get the work done, but they can get us the invoice if you want to do that. Well, that's not exactly right. <laughs> so we would pay him what? before he did the work? Would, would, would Debbie be okay with that? Would what? Would Debbie be okay with it? Would the, North, would the DES be okay with paying it now if you have it done later? I don't think that would be an issue with them as long as long as stuff that didn't work with Tate, I mean, I'll ask her, I'll get right in front of her. Okay. So what, what I'm doing now, I'm breaking down Mike, Mike's bid, and I'm going to send that to her, and if that's closer, then Mike's going to read it anyway, so match that, and then that will be done with. Okay. So you, you get an interpretation for us, I mean, we're going to have to write these checks, so you, that, you could have that to us. You could come to a meeting on Tuesday and decide whether or not. Yes. Okay. Yes. By, by Tuesday, I'll have it all. I just, I just can't get these people moving any quicker. Yeah. 
there's they're all busy, they don't you know, there's such a short notice on all of this, but especially some of these things. Right. I wonder if they want to jump in. I was supposed to be gone next week at training for to keep my license. I can't hold that so we can get this finished, so So we're gonna have to have a special election to elect a new sheriff? No, no. <laughs> I just I just I'm gonna have to pick up some different uh, hours. So. Oh, okay. Uh, we're doing the budget, you know, we'd have to budget for that if that was the case. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. So I guess in the hall, if there's questions about what you hold a rod or you know, and we'll just keep going forward, you know, I'll, I'll have this done by Monday, and Monday by noon, hopefully. But, but we're not going to get to 42,000, are we? Quite good. Okay. Okay. Sounds good, Bob. Okay. So, okay. did you get to see bills today or what? Yep. Now, are those bills are they coming off that forty-two thousand? No. We still need the forty-two thousand in order. We had already anticipated the bills were paying today. Like okay. That's what else my question. All right. Yeah. We were. Yeah. We had anticipated Bergstrom's bill and all the others. So and. That was still 42,000. It might be a little bit what we did running the generator now. We had an anticipation. Yeah, there was a few, and then one of them was not AMA. Right. Okay. Well, that's really all I have. I got to get back on the phone here. I can get the street notes. What time are you meeting on Tuesday? 8 o'clock. You're meeting Tuesday morning then, he said? Does that work? Yeah. Yeah, that works. I just want to make sure I know when it's going to be. So. Well, we hadn't said it yet, but now we're, as long as we need to, we might as well figure it out. So if that works for you, uh, Bob, we'll probably do that. Anytime is good for you to do that. I'm not going to all here, so whatever you need, just let me know what time. All right, why don't we plan on Tuesday at 8 o'clock? Sounds good. All right. Thanks, Bye. Bob. The budget oh, at the at the um, public hearing. That's correct. So yeah. then, when we just go through the advertisement well, and approve those numbers, these, yeah, these numbers were changing. I guess, like if we're changing, which ones are we changing? Uh, the uh, tax directors. Maybe we don't need to approve that. Just Obviously, the other thing. We haven't approved any of this yet. It can't be approved yeah. until after the public hearing. Yeah, yeah I thought we could give give it quick. We haven't even given it to preliminary. Yeah. Why? Well, well, I think he's talking about technical approval. I, I think we, we need to verify that the numbers are putting forward right now. Yeah, we've we been that. And then the, the final approval comes after the meeting on, after the tax meeting. On, I think we can just do that and go through well, each one of these with that and compare mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. yeah, we need to verify that, that the numbers that we've got so far are what we want to put forward. Yeah, that the question agrees with those numbers. All right, we'll take a couple. Oh, not really. We'll, we'll, we'll probably get, we'll, we'll, we'll fix any discrepancies.
discrepancies, any clerical errors on Monday, so then all then it'll just be approving the verifying the numbers on Tuesday. Yeah, okay. let's trust them. Have the numbers are right. And just uh, get oh. a <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Anything else to come before this meeting today? I'll move we adjourn. Been moved by Sean to adjourn as our second to the motion. I'll second it. Seconded by John. All in favor say aye. Aye. Both same sign. Motion passes. Meeting adjourned. Next meeting will be. Yeah. Are we meeting on Monday? No. No, we are. Okay. Tuesday morning at 8 o'clock, September 29th. This meeting is adjourned at 10 25.